Thompson and I'm an artist at Fast by University in my third year and tonight we're doing a kinetic like bicycle ride we've got about 10 to 15 people cyclists and we're lighting them up with high vis um, jackets LEDs um, lots of glow sticks and we're going to do a circular route around the city of Bath getting past some of the main attractions I saw it um, advertising the posters um, in the little magazine and uh, my friend Jenny Cooper said, oh, you ride a bike, you should do it. And I was like, yep, all right, then I'll do it. So hopped along and uh, got given some lights and some reflectors and uh, here I am. I knew that the festival was happening and I really wanted to bring cycling into it. At first I was just going to make a video of like people filming, like, filming people cycling in the city, but then my tutor was like, why don't you just do a live event? Nice to sort of be out in the community and sort of showing that we're part of the city too because we tend to just be up at uni and sort of disconnected from it but it's, yeah, it's nice to get involved and yeah, hopefully it will inspire more people to like go on bikes yeah. get on their bikes, get rid of the traffic in Bath I think from doing this um, from doing this bike ride I feel that we've sort of uh, integrated ourselves into the community a bit getting people seeing that Bath are actually doing something for the community and uh, showing that we can be sustainable I'm Robert Ferns, uh, made this piece which is as much to do with encouraging people if you like to look at the buildings, look at the architecture around and it's also to do with demonstrating the nature of vision, how we see. In collaboration with two scientists from Bristol University in the Department of Psychology there, I asked ten people to look at an image of this facade, the pump rooms, for 30 seconds. Then each person, we followed them, eye tracking, sat in front of a computer, which followed their eye movements. Uh, they were each given a different colour to code them, and there's the result. <laughs> I think it's already working that the people we've been talking to that come along, they say, well, yes, it's true, we don't actually look at a building like we look at a painting. But you do just re-engage with somewhere and maybe that's all this is intending to just by projecting coloured dots on a building if nothing more it just makes people look at something that they possibly walk past all the time.